So I want you to throw the mine there and hope that if and when they move, it will trigger it. Assuming it doesn't just trigger straight away, so do it. And yet you keep your shield. Does it trigger? Placing proximity mine. Uh, yes. yep, it triggers. That's not really great. The events in this video are fictional as the characters are portrayed within. Any similarities to anyone living or dead are merely coincidental and have been created at random by XCOM's name generator. Seriously. Hello one and all Mickey is surviving RNG and welcome back to XCOM EW Long War Eye Pets. Our first ever double mech squad is good to go. But first, man, last mission. God, it just doesn't sit well with me losing or winning because of a bug or losing or winning because of RNG. I'd rather win because of a well thought out and well executed plan or because of a screw up I made. Of which, yeah, Cloudy, you should be dead or crit wounded. Or Arteon for that matter. But Larry, you should not have been crit wounded. You really shouldn't have. And speaking of which, actually, I didn't notice it at the time, but Larry's will. So in vanilla, in Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within, when a unit gets crit wounded, they lose permanently 20 will, which is just absolutely absurd. In Long War, they lose 5 will permanently. Not great, not bad, but then again, he's a size soldier, so that would be definitely impactful to him. But the thing is, he didn't lose will. In fact, he gained will. He gained one will. I, I don't know how. I remember a long time ago, I talked about this and said, when a soldier is crit wounded, that'd be actually a good place to use RNG. And I think how it should be is, instead of it being a flat minus 5, Five will, they should actually lose between a range of will, between minus five and plus two. So it's far more likely that they'll lose will when they're crit wounded, but there's a possibility that they would gain will when they're crit wounded, or obviously less so. But that is not something I implemented, so Larry, I don't know how you've got plus one will instead of losing five will. But okay, sure. And then side troopers. We have some new side troopers, and I want to talk about it now because it's relevant to the mission. Feral, you've maxed out cells may live at 81 will. Your level two size so have to take into account your 81 will includes being two levels of psi and the will you get from training those two levels. But you haven't actually made the master sergeant yet. So that would be another between, I don't know, two and five or six will. So you're definitely within the threshold of being a candidate, but the problem is you're just not a good soldier, buddy. You're a concealment to rocketeer medic. You're a conceal ketic? That sounds about right. Right? But yeah, if you were a viewer, yeah, absolutely, I'd make this work, but you're not. God, an 11 ability, uh. But somehow I feel Will Ferrell is not watching this series. And as such, yeah, this mission, I'm sorry, buddy, you're getting retired. And speaking of which, when we come back from the mission, I will be retiring more people. And no, not chucking them, don't worry, just giving them a little medal saying, I'm not gonna be using you again. Next up, the person I reconsidered again coming on the mission was Mason. He's maxed out Sos May Live, he's at 82 Will, maxed out his perk tree, and he's only level 1 Psy. In fact, this mission will get him to level 2 Psy. So yeah, he's in the threshold being a Psy candidate. But the thing is, even though he's actually half decent, he's He's got a segging shot, he's got rapid fire, he actually has his own dense smoke grenade in the form of both smoke grenade and dense smoke. And collateral damage, he's got covetous Russian. He's a good soldier, he is. But the problem is, he's a sniper. And sure, not an infinite range sniper, just extended range, but now you've got Archangel armor, you're kind of pushing more towards the range of infinite. What here could you use as an infinite range sniper? Regen, that's handy for when somebody gets badly wounded or a pet gets wounded. Psy inspiration, maybe you'll be in range. Mine merge as well, maybe you'll be in range, but that was from your perk tree, so you get in Psy panic, which you wouldn't be able to use. TK field, maybe you'll be in range. Mind control, no you won't. It's, it's just not useful for you being a soldier. And I set all this up yesterday, the, the, the squad for the mission, which I like to do. I like to have an hour before I actually record setting up the squad to give me time to reconsider things. And, and yeah, Mason, sorry, I'm reconsidering. You're, you're coming on the mission. We'll have you be low priority getting to level two Psy, but I, I'm not going to have you be a Psy candidate. You will remain as a non-Psy candidate. I'm sorry, buddy, just as a sniper, it doesn't make sense why I'd do that. Having said that, we do have other candidates. Dolly Parton, you have been at the bottom of the barrel for a long time. And the fact is, you're actually a good soldier. Your random brick perk was snapshot, so you can use an LMG, you can move and shoot with it, granted not run and gun, and also you'll have minus 10 to hit. But you've got close encounters and rapid rations, and you will be getting sprinter. Not neural dampening or, or pet, that'd be nice though, but yeah, it has to be sprinter, absolutely with an LMG. And here's the thing, right? Parton, your only level one cells may live. So add another seven will to your 63. That puts you at 70. You're also only level one Psy, so you've just started. And you're also only a Sergeant. You have three more level ups to get to 80 will. And from 70 will, honestly, I bet you would. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> if, if your next level up is one will, then I, I might reconsider. And if the next level up after that is one or two will, then I'm gonna kick you out. But I would bet you'll make it to 80 will at Master Sergeant. 
And then we've got X marks the spot. A rookie from our first base defense mission, uh, episode 045. And a soldier who is too good for rookie training missions because he got hit and run, but not good enough for tough missions. And, and buddy, you are going to be a good soldier. Hit and run and light him up. You're definitely going to be good. And double rockets handy. You're absolutely going to be good. And X conditioning will allow you to wear lighter armor for more mobility. Also, your only cells may live level two. So add another six to your 66. And that'll put you on 72. You're only level one Psy and you're only a Psy. Sergeant. Yes, I would bet you'd get eight to will within three level ups. And considering, as I said, you're actually a really good soldier. You're like Artyom if you were the Rocketeer. Hit and run, light him up. Yeah, you're absolutely going to be a side trooper. You know, when we get the option to train you up. Also, I want to start gene modding our A-team. And also, absolutely gene modding our officers. I'll talk about that at the end of the mission. And also, last mission, I, I didn't want to bother checking because it, uh, it was just such a long mission. I, I didn't want to spend the time doing it. Frock and Tolik have made to Mars Sergeant Plus One, making over 6,000 XP, both of them. And yeah, you, Frock, as well. Which, awesome, we'll have that to look forward to after the mission as well. But the mission, abduction, moderate, as easy as it can be for 216 bucks, my favorite reward. And so the squad. Oh man, <laughs> why every time I don't feel good about this, but I will explain as we go through. Let's start off with Cooper going with Corsair armor because you have 11 health, hence why I build a third of these. Our only heavy plasma rifle, the plasma pistol, illuminated gun sight to go with your incredible aim. The only battle scanner we got and the second motion track we got. Moving on to our concealment soldier, Feral for the last time. This will get you to Master Sergeant and opportunist, I guess, yeah. But yep, after this, you, you've got to retire, buddy, I'm sorry. Go with the Aegis Armor, the Plasma SMG, one of the reasons why I want to retire you with that terrible mobility and being a Rocketeer. God, ugh, that means you have to carry an SMG, God, that's terrible. Alloy Rocket Launcher, the second motion tracker, Shredder Rocket, and the Walk Servos for more mobility, God knows you need it. And then Fox Powers. Now that you're level two Psy, you need more Psy XP. Go with the Aegis Armor, the plasma shotgun, our only plasma shotgun. Plasma pistol, three med kits with saviour. Walk servos because... <sighs> Yep, you've got the Arc Thrower. Unfortunately, I mean, even though there'll come a time when we don't need to capture aliens anymore, we'll always need to have somebody on the mission with an Arc Thrower in case we encounter a drone boss. So I'm sad to say, Powers, I think this house is going to be, like, forever. But you're getting there, buddy. Not long, you have CCS, and a fair bit after that, you'll finally have Close Encounters. Close Encounters, CCS, very strong. And then our Rookie. We're starting off with our highest level Rookies. You are number 32. We'll see what random Rookie perk you get when you get to the mission, and then we'll see what perk tree you get when you get back to base and then if it's good then we'll roll you a name going with Aegis armor the plasma carbine plasma pistol a third motion tracker a third motion tracker i'll have to change that hold on and two chem grenades yeah cooper we don't need three motion trackers they have a flashbang and then our mechs alex i want to train you up i want to max you out because even though you're not a good soldier your pet alone makes you an a-lister in fact i'm even considering bringing you on base assaults having everyone in the entire squad a 10-man squad be greater mind merged for like plus two ish dr plus like 40 or 50 will plus 20 to crit permanently for the entire mission oh man of course you know if, if the sectoral commander dies every single bio unit will also die with the mechs taking heavy damage as well but that's it alex you are high risk high reward going with the particle cannon because you got light him up emp flamethrower punchy fist alloy carver plating hollow targeter of which we need to build another one and battle computer of which we need to build another one because like you we need to train up our our shivs, flare shard, and person, and also our hover shiv, who is temporarily known as float, because I have plans for them. And then Apple. Sorry, buddy, we're not taking your pet, Thin Man, even though he is good. Oh, right, I forgot. I need to name him. I'll have to ask you what he needs to be called. Going with the second Dauntless suit. Thank God I built a second one. Pulse Lance. Don't worry, we've got a second part of cannon building. Mine launcher, grenade launcher. Yeah, um, it doesn't actually say how many charges you get here. So we'll find out on the mission. I'm very, very worried you only get one of each, like a normal grenade. Because I think how grenading mechs work is that you get grenadier to double the number of grenades you have, and then you take Pac-Man master to increase it to three so three mine launchers three grenade launchers and without the two of them i suspect this is just single use both of them which frankly if that's the case that's crap like it's it's so unbelievably crap because emp is infinite and flamethrower is two charges i think honestly two charges of these each is good enough going with a second emp because flamethrower isn't guaranteed but emp is alloy carbide plating scope and a laser sight because i don't really know what else to give you motion trackers don't work on mechs for some reason that's a bug on the mech three suit they just disappear in fact on the mech two i think as well i 
I don't need to have tax sense, core armoring, uh, alien trophy. Yeah, I, I don't want to have this stuff. So I guess just scope and laser sight. And then our extended range soldiers and Dolly Parton making it to a side candidate. Going with Aegis armor, the plasma LMG because he got snapshot. Neural gun link because yeah, you need it. Although 81 will not bad. Walk servos, yep, yeah, because the LMG. And the first of two ghost grenades. And yeah, you will be leveling up this mission. And yes, sprinter. God, yes, sprinter. Between the LMG and close encounters, God, you need sprinter. That will help out a lot. And then finally, our last extended range soldier. We have got Mason. You are here. In fact, you'll make it to maybe. You might make it to Master Sergeant Plus One. We'll see. Maybe I'll feed you that little bit to get you there. You'd also make the Psy level two. But honestly, after that, that might be it. We, all, we already have so many Psy candidates. I can't train up all of them. And Mason, you're just not that useful as a Psy candidate. Either way, going with the Archangel armor, that'll give you extended range for the reflex rifle, plasma pistol, neural gun link, combat stim, so you can get EMP'd along with Cooper, and the second ghost grenade, because ghost grenades, two of them every single mission. Oh man. Then the list, and, and I'll talk about why I'm so worried about this squad. Cover disruption, in case you're wondering, besides Mason having collateral damage, besides Feral having two standard rockets, Apple has the grenade launcher and the mine launcher. Other than that, what I'm most worried about is we don't have in the zone. In fact, that leads us well onto our multi-shot perks. 32, nothing. Fox, nothing. Parton, close encounters and rapid reactions, actually half decent. Although we'll see about your rapid reactions. Apple, nothing. Feral, nothing. Cooper, light him up. Mason, rapid fire. And Alex, light him up. So to be clear, for this mission, we have two light em ups, a rapid fire, a close encounters, and a rapid reactions. That has me really, really worried. That's what I'm terrified about this mission. Honestly, we can handle just about everything given that there are a few enemies on the map. It's a moderate, so I'm expecting four quarters of four. The only thing I'm worried about, the only thing is an Ethereal. That is what I'm terrified about. That, with the amount of regen he's got, with how hard he is to hit, I don't know how we're gonna kill him. I really don't. Uh, uh, we might just have to spam cloak grenades and try to shoot him down. But yeah, we'll see. And of course, the pet. Fox, sorry, still not your drone gizmo. Apple, not your thin man. Of course, it's gonna be Alex's sectoid commander, Modak. As for the map, guys, it could be a, a lot of maps. I think Urban Block is one of the larger sections of maps for an abduction, so it can really vary. There are relatively small maps, and there also are very large maps. But that is it. Let's head down there and roll 32 the random rookie perk. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Brazilian authorities, so that's where we're going next. We're still picking up transmissions indicating alien movement in one of their major city centers. So that's where we're going next. Secure the area ASAP. So that's where we're going next. Okay, terminal lies, not bad. This is a big map, that's really good. Central, Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. So that's where we're going next. Wow, well this sucks. This is actually one of the worst spawns for this map. And also that cinematic, having two mechs drop down on you from the dropship. Oh, that's terrifying. But anyway, as always, be right back. Okay, number 32, random brick perk. What is it gonna be? One, two, three. It is nothing, shaped armor. Reroll, and 72. It is something, TK field. Not terrible, I guess. Actually pretty good. Yeah, actually really good. Okay, we are back. Modak has landed, or Psy decloaked himself. 32 the random rookie perk, TK field, actually really good. Really, really good. That's a good start. Doesn't really synergize with anything, but it's still really good. Enemy types, everything, there's induction. Enemy numbers, as I said, I'd imagine four points of four. Maybe two points of four and two points of five. Yeah, let's say that instead. Find meld, I looked around the map, and the only meld I could find is here. There it is, yep, there. And that's where we're heading, we're gonna loop around this building, because this is a terrible position. And people that need electroshock, Cooper, because he got adrenaline, as a perk. Yep, there it is. And Mason, you got the Stimpak, so you need that too. So let's start off with a motion track. Thank you. On Feral. There, ah, oh, damn. Yeah, they're by that melt. Damn. Hmm. You're gonna sprint over to here and cloak, and everybody else is gonna run along here. In fact, whichever mech can run the furthest, considering you're gonna be EMPing there, you wanna run to their mech. Cooper and Mason are gonna sprint just a little bit ahead of them and get EMP'd. So let's do that. Feral, get running. Oh, oh. oh no. You! Oh my god, you! Crap. 
Sectoid Commander Outsider. Oddly enough, I only see two circles here. That is really weird. I'd be very, very surprised if there's only two people in this pod. In fact, that should be impossible on this difficulty. That should really be impossible. That also means whatever this pod is over here, they could come around and flank us. And also, Apple, your grenade launcher is two grenades. Your proximity mine launcher is three. Thank God. Okay. That actually makes you usable. And that is bombard range. Excellent. And proximity mine launcher is any bigger. I mean, smaller radius, same range. Yep, exact same range. Okay. So I guess what we're going to do is just run to here. And Apple, you can EMP. Unless, no. No, there wouldn't be anybody else around there. Of course, if we trigger them as well, and it also depends what they are. Hmm. I'm sure it's me fine. Apple move, although they can't get past you there, can they? No, they can't. So you have to go here, which increases the chance of trigger on the left. Yeah, go there. Okay, Cooper and Mason, run. Okay, and then Electro shot both of you. Happy Adrenaline Surge. Cool, nice. And then Modak. Um, yeah, considering there's a pod right in front of us where we're heading and a pod ready to flank us, you are not going to be my merging people. Sorry, buddy, you're not. And in fact, Parton, it'd have been handy if you had an Archangel armor suit as well. Even though you got close encounters with your rapid reactions, that'd have been very useful. For now, at least move up. At least you get an overwatch. And that's what we got. Three overwatches and one is from a rookie. Let's see what they do then. And let's see what they do as well. Let's do this. What else out there? Mutons, okay. And yes, we're going to trigger you. Parton with a 50. Come on. Ah. Oh. Man. Look sharp. Too bad. Enemies rolling up. Adjusting sights. 32 with a, what's that, 40? Nope, that, that's fine. Alex, do you want to try your luck? Missed the target. Alex with a 50. Come on. Make it good. That's good. That's, yeah, that's good. Awesome. Well done. Excellent, that's where I want you. And that's only a pot of two? Are you serious? Oh, meld over there, nice. That's only a pot of two. Are you joking? I mean, this is the right campaign, because it is Iron Man. We can't load. A pot of two? This is a moderate. It's not it's not a light. What? Huh. Interesting. Okay, well. Motion track again, feral. Pot of two. Seriously? Go there. A pot of two. A pot of two! Hey, Apple, how about we try out your grenade launcher? Uh, let's not use that cover. Go there. That's okay. Launch grenade. Actually, that's in this drawer, that cover as well, but that's fine. With any luck, we should be able to kill these guys. Just get it right in there and blow. Just, just blow it all up. Blow it all up. It's fine. Should have um, shielded, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all gone. There goes that cover. What's rapid fire like without flying? 95 and 81. Does that mean close range? I don't think so. Yeah, Mason, you can go there and rapid fire from the ground on him. So go do that. Yep, 95, do it. Excellent. Beautiful. A pot of two. A pot of two. Alex, um, you could shoot twice from there with holo targeting. Don't know if it's worth it though. Just move up. I want people to move up anyway. Go there. Holo the sector commander. 84. Oh, it's dead. Cool. Done. Excellent. Brilliant. He's down. Yes, he is. A pot of two. A pot of two. That's almost insulting. Feral move up. Your spider. A pot of two. Wonderful. Wait, was there a pot over here? I think there was. Yeah, yeah another pot over here. It might have been this pot, actually. Could have been. It could have moved over there. That's fine. A pot of two. A, I can't stop. A pot of two. What is happening? Oh, that was stupid. I shouldn't have moved you. That's feral. Damn. Because the sector commander isn't going to see you, is he? Okay, everybody else to stash. Yep, yeah, mutants. Then, Sector Commander, do you see everybody from... Well, you can't see him because he's cloaked. He won't get the indicator. And Cooper, I think you need to swing round. Yeah, because he can't, he, he can't even see you here. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just go there. You can see everybody at the back. Yes, go there. Cooper, get out here. And then, Greater Mind Merge, everyone. You see everyone back here. That should do. Greater Mind Merge. Oh, that's beautiful. The power of Greater Mind Merge. Massive reward, massive risk. Meld. Oh, so Okay, nobody good. Then grab it. Th then then grab it. Excellent. Thank you. Now there was a pot over there. What gets me closer? That gets me a little bit closer. You know it's fine. Go there. Yeah. And there we go. Okay. And what we got? Heavy floaters. Okay. Proximity mine time. I think. Everybody move up. Okay. Apple. Mm, yeah, that's a problem. I don't think you can do that. Yep. 
you need that extra 20% range from having the Grenadier perk. And honestly, Danger Zone wouldn't be bad as well, increasing the radius of your proximity mine explosion. I think moving up will get it like here, but it's just too small. What about a rocket instead? Yeah, yeah, a rocket's pretty good. Although, two tar scatter. How about we steady you? Everybody else move up. In fact, how many shots have you got? Three. Then don't bother reloading in case you need an overwatch. And Modak, where's the safest place for you? All of this is destructible. I don't want to risk triggering over here. Go there for now. You're definitely going to hunker. You're our VIP now. Okay, yeah, I guess next turn we shred a rocket. Oh no, be safe and use a normal rocket. Let's do this. Nope. And confirm Apple. Yeah, I mean, even moving one more tile, which should be doable, would put the grenade here where the cursor is. That might grab him, maybe, but it's not worth it. Although I suppose you have three of them, don't you? Do we have time before that meld pops? Ah, oh, screw it, let's test this. Move one tile, I don't know if this trigger. That's affirmative. It won't, good. Then, proximity mine. Um, will that trigger though? I honestly don't know. Let's shield you just in case. I don't know if we're in range to trigger them. Because unlike the early versions of Long War, proximity mines do trigger pods. So I want you to throw the mine there and hope that if and when they move, it will trigger it. Assuming it doesn't just trigger straight away, so do it. And yet, you keep your shield. Does it trigger? Placing proximity mine. Um, uh, yep, it triggers. That's not really great. Okay then, you're not flying. Why are you not flying? Weird. And how about some mine merges or some mine fray, should I say? Now that we're, yep, 100%. Oh yeah. Because our will is 132. Nice. Cooper, what's your will like? 119. Our oh, ferals is higher. Cool. Yep, I will take that. I will also take a flame, thank you very much. Yeah, sure, let's do this. And what's your DR like? Five DR. Five. I don't know if that's getting rounded up, but still five DR. Can we flame you up there? I don't think we can. I don't know if I want to risk that. Sure, he's easier to kill, but that might just simply not flame him. I hope he's easier to kill though, isn't he? And also that means no holo targeting, because Alex, you got the holo targeting. Mason, you should have no problem targeting him. In fact, what is he? Who's the leader? I think he's, no, he's the leader in front. Uh, no, no leader. Okay. All normal heavy floaters. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's flame you too. That's guaranteed. Flame Although if you panic, we, we can't do anything about it. You panic, okay. We can try capture you. Yeah, if you panic, we can't do anything about it because you're behind a car, that's going to explode, blah, blah, blah. So you're panicked. Mason, you're going to rapid fire him with 290s. So yeah, I think do it. And 39 to crit. Why is that? Let's have a look. Greater mine merge. Yeah, still 25. So it doesn't increase the crit chance. But still applies to everybody. So 290s on him. Beautiful. And not crit. That's fine, I guess. Not a kill. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to have the firepower, or at least the accuracy, to kill him. Unless Cooper... Oh, you see him. Done. Absolutely done. You're at 81, though. You're maybe a bit trickier. Worst case, with him being panicked, he can be chemmed and then mine frayed. Yeah, absolutely, because mine fray is going to be, yep, 100%. Awesome. I can also collateral damage that. But anyway, Cooper, if you would, please, buddy, take care of him, because he got dead eye as well. 100. Done. Beautiful. Exterior. And you've got a free shot. Before I take it though, I absolutely want to destroy that cover. Who else got Mind Fray? Feral Mind Fray and Parton Mind Fray. And Rookie, you've got the chem grenades. Not sure where you can throw them from, but still two Mind Fray should lock you down pretty well. Let's start with the collateral damage. I want to get rid of that car. So Fox, move up. Switch to your shotgun. That's why I had your pistol selected. And Alex, you're a diagonal, so that shouldn't hit you. And blow that up. Get booped. Pretty good. Now, do I even want to risk you? Honestly, two Mind Frays will put you in range. And we can even TK as well. Yes, do this. Mind Fray 100. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Net yeah, decloak, that's fine. And 32. Should I chem? Let's see if you're in range there. I don't know if you will be. Yes, yes, you will be. Screw it, let's just chem you. Done. Excellent. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. And Mind Fray you again, just in I case. And that'll leave you on one action. Mind Fray, of course, 100. Done. Beautiful. Now you have one action. Mind Fray twice. Chemmed. What you got? Cooper, reload. In fact, you might as well actually just shoot him, to be honest. Shoot him. That is a 56. Beautiful. Start working you down. And Modak, just sit tight. And just watch. There you go. Panicked. We have time on you. And what are you going to do? He's running, I think. You can't run far. Nope. No, nope, you can't. Now, Fox, you've got Saber, which means you've got medkits, which means acid isn't as bad for you. I mean, it's still not great, but it's not as bad. I mean, I prefer if you want acid, but we don't have much choice. Get in there. 
Oh, not even acid. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, not, not mine fray, not mine fray. Let's try to stun him. 57. Aye, aye. But that's a of course not. Of course. Why, why would it? Why? Why would it? Cooper, I don't even want to waste time here. We've still got a live floater. Command him. You're lost commands. And the sooner we use him, the sooner we'll have him back. Try again. Another 57. Light him up. Okay, good. Done. Great. Okay. I want to move up and try and get that meld. I suppose I can go this way, actually. I can also drop down through there. Yeah, you know what, Feral? Go here. Next turn, you're going to run up to there, which I don't think the floater will see you. Well, he sees you there, but I don't think he'll see you here. Does he see you there? Either way, just, just go there. It's fine. Should have gone actually here and mind frayed. Apple. And how much health you got? You know what, sure, Cooper. Take another shot. 76. Oh, just kill him. That's, that's fine. That's cool. Execution, I guess. That, why, why not? Well, so much for moving Feral over here. But hey, we got a life floater. That leaves two rifles and one heavy weapon. That is awesome. Mason, sit tight. In fact, everybody just reload and Modoc swing round. Okay, Feral, you can make it to there and the door is closed. You can also just sprint in it, to be honest. That does not act as cover, because of course it doesn't. You know what? Yeah, just go there. We're heading that direction anyway. Run. Oh, Thin Men. We have Thin Men. Yep, that way. Okay, let's get who we can to the roof. So yeah, two pods down. Pod of two and a pod of three. That is, that's weird. So we hear Thin Men and we hear Mutons, and that is perfect. Run. Ooh, hello. Oh, the has gone, damn. Thin men, you say? God, a grenade would just kill you outright. Would you see them coming through this window? I don't think you will. No, 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 I don't think you will. Move in. Okay, and yet you'll see them there. So let's not move up too far. And that's it, let's kill some thin men. Oh no, oh, like these Texas. Oh, but they ran into the room. We've got lots of shots on you. I think everybody's missing. Yep. Yep, everybody missed because of right reflexes, of course. But hey, they're running towards us. So they are so, so dead. Like, they have no idea how dead they are. For a second there, I thought they were about to take actions. Ooh, that would have made me mad. So you are the leader. I suppose I could just uh, panic you, actually. Don't know if that's worth the risk, though. Well, Apple, I don't know if a punch will kill. And they are in cover. But you know what? Who cares about cover? <laughs> Should actually blow him some as well. Oh! Okay. Ah, screw it. Who cares about thin men? Alex, if you would. Hey, buddy. Then. Enemy destroyed. Parton, unfortunately, you're not in close encounters range. In fact, you're not really in any range. Yeah, 32, can't even get a flank. But, new plan. Hey, Fox, do you know what you've got? Get down here, buddy. Now that I've reloaded your shotgun, collateral damage. Get rid of all of that. Beautiful. And that should be you just about dead. Hi. Cool. You know what, Apple? I don't even want you to reload. I mean, you have to anyway, but work with the joke. You don't have to punch your fist. Okay, the joke's not going to work. I'm just going to kill you. Done. Cool. Well, I'm sorry, how much of a crit was that? Like 16 crit with the pulse version of the mech gun? Yeah, okay, sure. That's fine then, I guess. Let's move up to here. That leaves mutons. Feral, if you would. Uh, you wanna run through acid though, aren't you? Hmm, don't, don't do that. I prefer if you didn't do that. You know what, the meld's gone. Let's just take a turn to regroup and reload. Okay, acid is gone. Mason, you've not made the Master Sergeant plus one. You need one more kill. We'll make sure you get that. Feral, if you would. Enough. I was about to say nothing. Is this honestly, honestly another pot of two? Are you serious? Is this a joke? This is a moderate, not a light. God, I'm worried about even overwatching. I'll kill them all. But hey, it is why we're up here. Okay, if they move, oh my god, they're just dead. We can't even capture them, but I don't care. It's, it's, it's awesome. I love it. Let's do this. Go on, move. Try it. Yep. Uh, or not. 
You know what? Still don't care. Still don't care. I want this Overwatch. If you live, we, we capture you. If you die, then we don't. There we go. Parton, 65. You get to live at least. Oh, wow. Reaction 65 miss. Okay. Mason, you're going to hit though. Apple, 50. That, that's a miss. Cool. Cooper, 90. That's a hit. Mason? Oh, that's where you're gonna go. Oh no. Oh no. What have you done, guys? Unless it's a pot of five? Are there, is there a fifth pot out there? Oh, it's, it's our turn. <laughs> okay. Well, Fox, I reload your shotgun again. Uh, You're the leader. You got less health. I could just boop you and see how much health. Yes, yeah, screw it. Beautiful. Acid you and done. That means we have to kill you, no matter what, because we haven't got one Arctura. In fact, a Mind Fray and Acid will guarantee that you can't do anything. And we have a Mind Fray right there. Okay, well, Mason, you need another kill. Go flank him. And rapid fire him. Dead. God, it is nice having an easy mission every once in a while. Mind Fray. Done. Yeah, you intimidate all you want. Very intimidating. They're moving around the side. Rookie, I, I don't even know where to put you. I guess let's be completely safe. And Alex, go move. there. And lock for Fox. Done. And Acid. Thank you very much. And Apple, you want to go there. Lock for 32 and reload. And done. Cool. Oh, this mission. Absolutely beautiful. Reload if you need him. Cool. Fox, you can't make that, can you? No. Although I wonder with you out of the way. Fox. Nope. That's fine. Fox, if you would, please, buddy. Last 57. Missed one hit one. Of course. Of course. Of course. Mason, you made to Mars Sergeant plus one. Cooper, maybe? You're already Mars Sergeant plus one. Yeah, you got platform stability. Oh, that's why your second shot, or at least the second round against the floaters, was higher than first, because you had platform stab. Or Parton? You got a long way to go, Parton. Yeah, screw it. 50, dead. Done. Well, Commander. that's it. The operation was a success. <laughs> that's it. Okay. All right, then. One rifle, two left to go, and one heavy weapon. We're getting there, guys. We are getting there. Even if we capture one alien per mission, it's fine. We are getting there. God, easy mission every once in a while. Ah, oh, that feels good. And the Sectoid Commander, I don't know how effective he was, but still, the increased DR, the increased crit chance, making mind phrase against uh, mutons and floaters 100%. Oh, God, that, that's good. That's exactly why I want to train up Alex to go on base assaults. Beautiful. I've heard no reports of injuries on the last mission, and our troops recovered an additional quantity of the meld substance. An outstanding effort, Commander. Cooper, Mason, did you hear that? Marlon didn't hear that you had any injuries. That electroshock, you just brushed it off. You just walked it off. It's fine. Apple, you'd have brought it up, I think. I actually don't know. Probably. Parton, you did. Oh, God, yes, Sprinter. You need Sprinter so badly. Yes, a pet would be nice, but it's not guaranteed to be good. And even if it's good, it's not guaranteed to appear because somebody might have something better. Neural dampening is also decent, but you with an LMG and close encounters, you need Sprinter. Done. Oh, beautiful. Plus four mobility. That is a lot. The walk servers give plus two. That is a hell of a lot. Oh, I didn't check how much will you got. Hmm, never mind. 32, we need to give you a poetry. Don't know what you're going to be. Probably middle of the pack. To be honest, I could turn you into a gunner as well. And if you've got a crap perk tree, I could turn you into a mech. Because even mechs with distortion field, they're still good. And Alex, I don't know if you leveled up as well. We'll have to check. But done. Alien rifle, yes. Two left and one heavy weapon. Sector commander, two heavy floaters. Two thin men, we blew one up. Two mutons. Got a pod of... There were two pods of two. That's ridiculous. One heavy floater captive. Nine illyrium, nine alien alloys, 40 weapon fragments, and 34 melt. That was ridiculous. For 216 bucks. Yeah, okay. Sure, we done. Be in touch. Okay, let's roll the Mars Sergeant perks. Frock, Tolik, and now Mason. So, Frock, what are you going to get? 112. It was taking a while there. It is town. Bob. Bob. That's crap. Absolute crap. Tolik, what do you get? 40. It is CCS. Interesting. Actually, no, not interesting at all. That's really bad. Because you use a marksman rifle. God. In fact, that's really, really bad, because if I want to cloak you, 
I have to be careful. I do reserve the right to refuse Master Sergeant perks. Of course, it doesn't get re-rolled, but I do reserve the right to refuse them. So for now, Tolik, I'm going to give that to you, but I might go back and just refuse it. I think you'll get a medal for that if I do refuse it. But either way, CCS. Yeah, Tolik, that is... Oh, man. That isn't just a useless perk. That is a bad perk. Like, a detrimental perk. Because that could break you being cloak grenaded. Yeah, I might refuse that. If I do, then you can get a new medal. God, these medals are crap. Okay, Mason, what do you get? 112. 112 again, isn't it? 112. That's Tandem Warheads. Mother... F and yeah, I meant Master Sergeant Plus. It's not medals. It's Tandem Warheads. It's Mother... F Tandem Warheads. Fucking bull... I was really hoping, Mason, really, really hoping that you get something good. Hit and run or opportunist. Something that make you that little bit better. A reason to keep using you even if you're not going to be a side trooper. But f Tandem Warheads. Like with Frock here. F Tandem Warheads! Although, having said that, I now wonder if with Tandem Warheads, I should not bring Punchy Fist with you and take the grenade launcher, although it's only two grenades. And you've got heat ammo as well. The Punchy Fist is really useful for that. You could stand right next to a heavy mech EMP, then out of the EMP, punch twice with heat ammo. Yeah, I don't think I'll do that. Yeah, Tandem Warheads is, is just dead for you. And Tolik. Oh my. CCS. At least Tandem Warhead for Mason and Frock is useless to them. CCS for you is just bad. It's really, really bad. Oh my god. Yeah, I I'm in two minds about uh, refusing that perk. But for now, let's move on. And also, Alex and Apple did not level up. Apple's just underneath getting Sergeant, and Alex is just underneath getting Tech Sergeant. But Feral, you did level up. We just weren't told about it because you had Science Inspiration, which was your Psy Level 2 perk, I think. So you get Opportunist. Done. You get Science Inspiration back. And you, my friend, retire. Done. Master Sergeant, maxed out subs may live. You have retired. It's a shame, buddy. It is a shame. Well, I mean, no, it's not, it's not really a shame, no. <laughs> You didn't get a great deal of will either. You got uh, maximum three, I think. Not a lot. But even so, your perk tree just isn't amazing. It really isn't. Tandem Warheads, to be honest, with a Rocketeer is good. But a Concealment Medic Rocketeer? If you're a viewer, as I said, I'd absolutely keep bringing you. You're not terrible. You're not absolutely rubbish. But I just have other people to train up. Sorry, Feral. And in case you guys are wondering, Parton here got six will from that level up. So yes, she is well on the way to getting 80 will to be a side candidate. And so who else is going to retire? Carlock, sorry buddy, you may be an officer, but you're not a Souls Maid officer. It was a mistake turning you into an officer, in fact. Not that we need more low-ranking officers. But still, sorry buddy, you are out. You're a concealment uh, repair engineer with a smoke grenade? Oh, no, no, yep, you're out. You get to go home to your family. Next up is Gerard. Gerard, buddy, you and Snyder went out on so many adventures. You are our A-team snipers, but, but things have changed. You are our first pet with Bloodwing, the drone. But the thing is, all you've got is double tap. And in fact, that was your random brick perk. And you don't even have run and gun. You've got snapshot. You, my friend, are also retiring. Enjoy life on the outside. And I think that's it. Everybody else, I don't want to retire. Everybody else has reached Master Sergeant and it solves my live like Crow here. I don't want to retire them because they're actually pretty decent. Like Crow here is a concealment rapid reactions in the zone gunner. And other people like Illustrious, Crimson, I mean, not that I would retire them, but they haven't made two solves my live level eight yet. Okay, that's all the retirement parties we have for now. And now to gene mod people, specifically our officers, who we got. For the Souls Melee officers, it is Johnson, who's exhausted, Cooper, who is fatigued, Elatan, and Hewson. Those are our four Souls Melee officers. And Van Dorn, now that you're fully gene modded, you're going to be leading our terror missions. You don't have Souls Melee live, so that means on terror missions, we're only going to take Master Sergeants, or not even Master Sergeants, just people that maxed out Souls Melee live. There are a, a few soldiers that have maxed out Souls Melee live, but haven't made to Master Sergeant yet. So yeah, Van Dorn, terror missions for you, and base assaults, I think, as well, but only for people that maxed out of my live. But I guess that leads us on to gene modding our officers. Elatan. So, smart macrophages, no. Neural dampening, yes, I do want to take that. Plus 20 defense against psi attacks when our officers already have pretty decent will for the most part, and also immunity to panic. This makes you, as long as you're in full and indestructible cover, completely immune to sectoral commanders. So yes, I want all of our officers to have neural dampening. Hyperactive pupils and depth perception, god no. Although depth perception will be going on our A-list snipers. Definitely Robin Drake on. Maybe even Dark Dante, maybe? We'll see. Now that we're getting more Archangel armors. Secondary Heart, no. It's kind of a selfish perk. What isn't, though, is Adrenia or Sympathy. I want each of our officers to have that. On every single mission we go on, I want to know that we have that, knowing that if an officer gets the kill, they give Adrenia or Sympathy to everyone. A mass hollow target on cooldown. Then Iron Skin, no. Selfish. Bio Skin is not selfish, but it shouldn't really be used for officers. It's really only to be used on assaulting units like Assaults or Scouts or any Consumer Soldier. Then Adaptive Bone Marrow, no. And Jumpy Legs, 
Dex is handy, but again, it's kind of a selfish perk. So for now, we're going to limit our officers to Adrenal Sympathy and Neural Dampening. So Elatan, let's start off with you. Done. 20 bucks and 16 melt. I have the selected volunteer sent to you directly. Okay, and then Perry. Perry, yes, I'm going to do this. Along with our A-list snipers, I'm going to choose our A-list extended range soldiers, namely LMG gunners. Perry, you're absolutely going to get depth perception. Oh, right, you already have neural dampening, I think. Yeah, yeah, Perry, you've got neural dampening already. Oh, but it's blocked out because you're Psy. Yeah, okay. And you've already got Iron Skin. That was your random Rick perk. So, yes, you get depth perception. You will have the Archangel armor. Speaking of which, the second one will be done in less than a day. That'll give you plus five aim and plus five crit whenever you're doing those hit and run and, more importantly, rapid fire shots. Done. Excellent. Brilliant. And the last person I want to do, not you, Vincent, sorry, is going to be Dante. Because although you're not infinite range, or at least you can't move and shoot with a sniper rifle, now that we've got Archangel Armors, I'm going to have you on backup and give you depth perception. Done. Cool. Thank you, Commander. And it's cheap I'll as well. Have the uh, six meld and ten bucks. Shortly. Brilliant. And it will guarantee that disabling shots hit. And now to buy stuff. We need another battle computer, but that is way, way too expensive for now. We're going to start taking out, if not two mechs, it'll be a mech and a shiv. And our shivs definitely need battle computers. God, that's so expensive just for eight defense. Like, a scope does exactly this, but without the defense. You're paying all of that just to have eight defense, but still, we're going to do it. I also want a second holo targeter. As I said, we're likely to be taking out either two mechs or a mech and a shiv. So a second holo targeter, that is nice and cheap. Done. We need two more walker servos, but for now, I'm just going to be building one. We're definitely going to need another one for the temple ship, I bet. And the last thing we need, just to have it ticked off, so I don't have to worry about it anymore, is an alloy bipod. We have two. It's not likely we're going to take out more than two snipers on a mission, but it does sometimes happen. So third alloy bipod, done. I don't need to worry about that anymore. Excellent. And also, I want to build a spare Titan armor, as in a Titan armor in reserve, not including uh, as part of the project to build Archangel armors, a Titan armor that won't get touched besides for missions, for soldiers that have very low health, namely people like Friendly, who at Mars Sergeant still only have five. For now, Archangel armor, brilliant. That is 40 alloys. I doubt the Titan armor is going to give us enough to build another one, right? 60 alloys. Maybe. We'll see. When that's done, we might get the rebate to build an Archangel armor. I think the rebate is 46% for the amount of workshops and adjacencies we've got. Let's find out. It is brilliant. More than enough. Let's do this. Third Archangel Armor. Granted, we're now behind in the production line of building Titan Armors, and we haven't even started the spare Titan Armor that I want, considering they're 60 damn bucks, and two of them is as much as a Firestorm. God's pressy. Keep going. We'll set oh, that's third brilliant request for Australia. Australia, you haven't maxed out, I don't believe. Plant rifles, no. Mutant Berserker, yet yeah, we talked about that, no. That's for Germany, you've maxed out. Heavy floaters, Australia. Looking at my list, it tells me, no, you have maxed out. Yet yeah, maxed out Panic DR. And considering all you're going to give me is a sergeant, nope. Sorry, buddy. Give me money or I don't, I don't really know what else, to be honest. Just, just money. Excellent work, Commander. Cool. Rail, come on! Distortion field me. That's a 76, Rail, you missed a 76! Man, what's wrong with you? Scout, cool. No, not no, not scout. It's a radar, but scouting. What we got? I think I'm going to EMP you. Should I, though? No, we have laser cannons for a reason, and raiders are arguably the second easiest UFO. You know what, Tarsis and Billy, it's up to you. I'm going to have you go defensive. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Approaching target now. Woof, wow, 0.3 seconds left and I click track just at the same time. Well done, very well done. Next mission, 20 aliens, actually quite a lot to be honest. Sector Commander, Sectoid, Cyberdisc, Drone and Seeker, six different species, that is lying to us, there is an extra one. Could it be Ethereals? No, because Ethereals turn up with Mutant Elites, I think, and there aren't Mutant Elites here. What could it be? Cyberdisc turns up with Drones, we see those two, and Seekers. Sectoids turn up with Sectoid Commanders, I guess it could be Outsiders maybe? Where is it? Our first urban block. Our first crashed radar on an urban block. Well, we know what map it is then. Okay, well, that's that. No side training done today. That's a real shame. I was actually hoping to get through a few of these. We've got the gene labs working overtime. It's well over to you. We're going to give all our officers adrenal sympathy and neural dampening. And we're going to give our A-list snipers or extended range soldiers depth perception. And speaking of snipers, Dracon and Robert, you're still out. 29 hours. Do I want to wait? That puts on six hours left. No, you know what? Let's train up other people. 
Okay, so I had forgotten, so I'm just adding this in at the end. 32, let's roll your random infantry perk tree. I've already removed TK Field, and I've decided you're going to be an infantry, so I've removed Light Map. So originally the plan was for you to be a gunner, because if your gunner perk tree is crap, I could turn you into a mech, and TK Field is actually a decent perk, which would carry over to being a mech, and it's not bad. But the thing is, we, we already have a bunch of subpar viewers that I could turn into mechs. Now granted, their random rookie perks may not be as suitable for being mechs, but I'd rather that than turn No Name 32 into a mech. I'm not going to give second chances to every single rookie we get that doesn't even have a name yet. So you know what, 32, you're going to be in infantry. If your perk tree's crap, then we're chucking you. So make it good. I think I'm going to chuck you. Yep, I'm going to chuck you. Pressure doesn't apply. Smart Mac Phage is crap. Ranger plus one damage and gets rid of the aim penalty on pistols. Not bad, but I'm pretty sure the plus one damage isn't actually working. Leader of Past Nostra, crap. Extra Conditioning, not bad. Damage Control, crap. Depth Perception, no. Lock and Load, not bad. Repair Service, no. Resilience, no. Weapons Expert. So <laughs> I really, really want an infantry with both Run and Gun or Snapshot and Weapons Expert so we can use an LMG, light up LMG just constantly, but we haven't got any yet. Honestly, if you had run and gun or snapshot, I'd keep you just because you've got um, weapons expert. Sentinel's not bad, but it's just not good enough. I mean, light him up sentinel is like a bog standard infantry without any of the synergizing perks. Automated threat assessment, bad. Side panic is okay, I guess, but not really for your will. 35, wow, no. Far in the hole doesn't apply, neither does shock and awe. Side strike is good, gotta admit. Ready for anything doesn't apply because you've got light him up. They conflict, they break each other, but side strike isn't bad. Yeah, you're, you're, just, you're just not bad. I've got enough of not bad soldiers I need to train up. I want outstanding soldiers. Sorry, 32. You don't get to be rolled as a soldier. You are out. And right, 37 with absorption fields. You've got absorption fields on the base defense. It doesn't matter what your perk tree's gonna be. Yes, I'll just pick, there you go, percent will have that. Once you VR train all the way up to Corporal, then we're going to turn you into a mech. An infantry light em up absorption field mech. And yes, sure, you're also a no-name soldier, but I, I can't pass up guaranteed absorption fields on a mech that is infantry, meaning they're also guaranteed to have multi perk. I can't pass it up. That's too good. So 37, you've got a while to go before we make it to Corporal. And for now, just come back to me saying goodbye. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to close and count that like button and tap down the machines comments below and let anybody else know if they enjoyed the video as well. It really helps our channel. And I'll see you guys back some for more XCOM EW Longwall iPad. Thanks for watching and bye-bye everyone. Bye-bye. Easy mission every once in a while. Feels